okay hello guys today i will show you how uh, you can install 7g firewalls for engines and now uh, we will install the 7g firewall on a vps with uh, aa panel installed okay uh, this vps are running on ubuntu 20 okay, so we are going to uh, set up the 7g firewall for more information on 7g firewall you can read on the perishable press website so it is a this is a very good um, uh, firewall combination wordpress website so for example this is the engine dev website so this is uh, their official uh, test sites to test all the malicious malicious uh, queries so let's say if uh, the internet bot all the hacking bot is using uh, this particular um, queries URI queries so uh, the request will automatically uh, denied and they will be served by the 403 forbidden instead of just uh, showing the website uh, loading all the website resource okay let's uh, get into this uh, setup okay first of all you have to go to the perishable press website and download the 70 firewall for engines there is a zip file okay, click on the download and click here to download so here um, once you extract it on the PC you can have two uh, files so I have these two files 7g and 7 firewallcon okay what we need to do is to upload these two files into engines uh, installation folder on the VPS on the server so now we will use the BT panel on the files go to files you can go to the www server engines conf so this is the directory uh, for all the application installed using the aa panel so you can go to this folder engines conf and upload this the two for the two files here so you can see here this is first one and the second one so how to upload you can simply click the upload button and select the files or drag it here and upload okay once this done we need to add this uh, configuration files into the engines uh, config so to do that uh, we have to do it on two location first on the engines uh, main config where we can access through the home or you can access the engine setup from the app store if you check on the app stores you can go to the engines you can find engines go to the install web server and you can click on the setting here so this will open the all the engines configuration here and if you already place the shortcut for the engines at the dashboard so you can click on the engine icon and you can go to configuration and this is the config file you can also edit this uh, through the files but it, it's much easier to edit in the from the shortcut on this interface using the air panel so here we need we have to put these two uh, include line so basically this is the directory for the file that we have upload the 7 e firewall file that we have upload previously inside the engines folder on file and for the engines main config here engines config we have to include this the first file this one the 7 e firewall conf in this config here so you can include it here at the line at the bottom include and we paste it here 
the 70 firewall configuration so once done you can save okay the second part uh, we have to set up the second configuration files the 70 conf this is the conditional rule onto the website or the virtual host that we are going to use or the domain so for that we can go to the website that or the domain that we have installed so i have this you can click on the domain setup or you can click on the on the domain that we want to use click on the configuration the link and we can go to the config so this is a uh, virtual host configuration for the engines so we can add this line here just before the closing bracket and add the include and save okay now after we have done adding these two files this combination of the 75 wall files configuration so we can reload engines and this one will take effect so that the, the, the new rule will take effect we can reload engine okay now we can test it on our domain and our or our website okay basically this is the test site so we can load the same, the same command full click okay so the user will be denied access and thrown to the 403 forbidden okay if we don't implement the 7g let's say if we disable the configuration Okay, we go back to the website config and we comment up this part save and then we go back to the engine configuration main configuration and we comment out the same this firewall we need to reload it first okay. and then only we can disable it since it already been called okay. okay we need to disable actually we need i have two domain here so we need to disable both first one also we need to disable from loading then only we can uh, disable the 75 wall on the main configuration okay 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 now we can reload then we can test again so this is how the user all the requests will be uh, treated using the 75 wall all goes to 403 forbidden so if we don't implement the 75 wall any malicious request will be treated uh, like this so if we click enter so they will uh, be served with the actual website instead even though the actually the, the url is not valid but they still can access and uh, load all the resource of the our website so this will increase the resources of the server so we need we need to serve uh, the bots with all the actual website to them so this will increase if let's say they are uh, using ddos attack with the same url with let's say 10,000 requests a minute 
so each 10,000 we will serve this the full website so this will uh, definitely will uh, make your servers uh, become uh, malfunction or out of service okay so instead of uh, serving the bots all the DDoS uh, requests the full uh, website resources the full page of the actual website uh, this 7 g can just uh, simply deny the request and serve them with the 4034 billion okay that's it um, for the 7 g firewall setup for engines how you can install it on the AA panel so on the next uh, tutorial uh, maybe uh, we can share more about the uh, what features that AA panel have okay that's all thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more useful video like this thank you so much